Hey everyone, welcome to Living It Country. I'm Holly and welcome to the spring edition of Farmhouse Home Tour Series. I absolutely love sharing this home tour series with you all in hopes that it can give you guys inspiration for DIY projects, maybe to get some thrifty finds in your home or maybe even just some styling ideas. I hope this video series can inspire you all to create a home that you love for you and your family. A big thank you to Crates and Palette for sponsoring the Farmhouse Home Tour Series. Crates and Palette's forged steel brackets are a super, super easy DIY project that can add with a simple piece of wood a beautiful, beautiful farmhouse look. I'm going to link in the card section right above here our install process of how we accomplished this look into our home as well as put a link down in the description box below where you guys can check out Crates and Palette's brackets on Home Depot's website. Big thank you to Crates and Palette. They're actually going to be hosting a giveaway here. So make sure you watch all 13 home tours the whole month of April and comment on each of them, your favorite part of the home tour. That will be your ticket in to win two Crates and Palette crates as well as four of the Crates and Palette brackets so you guys can make farmhouse shelves in your own home too. Today I am so excited to have Sandy from Farmhouse Coffee here today. Sandy loves antiques, collectibles, and all things home decor, so you know she's going to have a house full of beautiful things. I'm so excited to have her here today. I'm gonna link her Instagram account in the links in the description box below, so make sure you go check out Sandy, give her a follow, and let's go ahead and tour her home today. Hey y'all, I'm Sandy with Farmhouse Coffee. Holly has invited me to join in on the Spring Home Tour Series. Thank you so much, Holly, for the invite. And with that being said, please enjoy my small farmhouse home tour. And thank y'all so much for watching. Hey guys, I would like to start off my tour on my back porch. Um, this is where we do a lot of get-togethers. We sit, we talk, we have parties back here. It's just a fun little area. We have coffee in the mornings. Just a simple little area that I, we all enjoy and love. A lot of memories have been made back here on this screened in porch. And I'll just kind of give you like a little tour. Those are some antique folding chairs that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. Some old mason jars, and I think that's an old pickle jar and an antique sifter. And a sign I made, it just says porch rules, feel the breeze, listen to the birds, converse, have a drink, relax and wine, and open from morning to dark. probably hear the birds chirping. Not much traffic here. And I brought out my three-tier tray to put out here just to add a little bit of something to this little corner. It's got some mason jars and some antique books which you will find throughout my house. This little plant stand, my husband, a friend of his actually made that for him. And I think it's really cute. It's just made from old twigs in the man's yard and some old boards he had laying around. Hey, I'd like to show you just a little bit of my bedroom. Um, I like to decorate with old, antique, and vintage books throughout my house, along with some old windows. 
This bed, I fell in love with it. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace and I knew I had to have it and so my husband got this for me. The mirror we actually found at a thrift store. Brought it home, redid that, and my husband hung that up for me. The blanket ladder my husband made for me. And then the mantle I got at an antique store. And I absolutely adore it. It has the original paint on it and all the chippy goodness. So I'll kind of stand back a little so you can see that. And I'll come around one more time so you can kind of see the bed. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It's always, this has always been a dark little area in here. So I'll just kind of stand back and let you kind of see. Hey, uh, this is my laundry room area. It's nothing special. I just have a small little area in my house, but I think it's fixed up pretty cute. Um, my husband actually got me these. We have a chicken farm, and so he got me those. And then the O Clorox bottles he actually found. And I just added some cotton to it, an old blanket. And then the old washboard we actually found at a flea market. Kind of going around so it won't make you so sick. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and this little cabinet right here my husband actually had up in our barn and I told him I was looking for something like this and he's like oh I have one of those and I said what does it look like and he told me and I said well if it's crusty and rusty give it to me <laughs> and so he did we cleaned it out and it holds all my cleaning supplies and the antique mirror up there I actually got off Facebook marketplace brought it home cleaned it up Distressed it and put it up. Okay, and then coming on around. Okay, so this is my small farmhouse kitchen. Okay, so up above, I just have some old antique cookbooks, a scale. Going on around. And up there I have some antique lunch boxes and thermoses. Candy tins, another lunch box. And I wanted something different to put my utensils in, so I went to an antique store and found that O10 and I thought it was perfectly. I love adding pops of green to my house. And of course, I have the drop cloth curtains. And this plant right here, I actually forget what it's called, but it's shaped like a heart, the leaves are, and I just, I, I loved how that looked, it was beautiful. I don't mind the car that just went by. <laughs> and then a market sign. Some more cookbooks. 
I'm in the search for that older one. These are the Better Homes and Garden, in which I love those. Just kind of scan around. And this is some antique, my rolling pins. And I actually found this little holder at Kirkland's. And here's a little area that I have fixed up. And it's got some antiques in there and some antique thermoses and some more cookbooks. And then that right there in the frame is actually a recipe that I found in a cookbook that I got from the thrift store. And I saw it like perfectly, such beautiful handwriting in that. So right there is, that's an old apron. It's so fragile, it's very thin. My husband actually found that for me in a chest. And then some more rolling pins. And then coming on around, that's my corner cabinet. And this right here, I actually found these at a thrift store and they're 1847. And I actually found some silverware also. And of course, the drop cloth curtains. And this is an old window that my husband got for me. And I just added our last name on there and the year that we got married and it actually is on there with a sharpie so you can just wipe it right off and i made a show behind my cabinets right there of my backsplash is actually skinny shiplap we put up there and so here is And then the antique folding chairs, which I showed two back on my screened in porch and I actually got four of those through Facebook Marketplace. If you're ever looking for anything, check out there. They, you can find some very good stuff there. So once again, I'll give another look. Excuse my bananas. <laughs> and then spin it on around here. Try not to make y'all get sick. This is my coffee bar. Okay, of course I love antique scales and old mason bottles, mason jars, anything like that. I'm absolutely, I love it. And the sign is just made with an old picture that I got from the thrift store. I chalk painted that and just added my own little quote on there. So one more look. And then some more cookbooks and cutting board at the bottom. And that is an old antique medicine cabinet which I got in distress and it has all my essential oils. And this right here is some recipes that I found in an old vintage cookbook and I just thought they were so neat to put up and kind of bundle together and those are the spoons that I got and actually like I said those were 1847 and there's some more right there and that is in that old juice bottle And my husband actually made these corbels for me and the shelves.
Okay, coming on around. And this right here is my foyer. So as you enter in my house, you will see the church pew. And my husband got that for me and it was tore all to pieces and so we redid it. And we stained it in the beginning and then ended up stripping that off and repainting it and distressing it. And at the bottom you'll see some old books and a vintage picnic basket. And like I said, around my house you will see me decorate with antique books. And of course the shiplap. And the ladder is a tobacco stick ladder. And then coming on around, you can kind of see my kitchen. And then this basket wall, I got all that at the thrift store, I think for under $10 to make that wall. And then the Crocs, absolutely love those. Sorry, my floors are creaky. And then this little area with the vintage sweepers. And this one right there is a wallpaper brush. And the vintage basket I found at the thrift store. Okay, coming on around to my living room. Here is an overlook of it. So we'll just get started on this side. That just says home, the story of who we are, a collection of all the things we love. And the blanket ladder my husband made for me. Some lavender. And then the built-in shelves. It's so hard sometimes wanting to know what all you should put on them and is it too much, but this is what I came up with. Of course, some old books. Flashcards, bingo, and math. And then I found these old gardening books and thought they were absolutely perfect for spring. And then the flower frogs, love those. Keeping my fireplace simple, just keeping the, the ship out. Um, then some, of course, some bunnies garland and some antique candlesticks. And then coming on around, let me see here. This is another one, like I said, books, I adore those. I think it just, it just makes your house, like I love collecting them and find it on. And this right here, that's, it. that's my daddy. He passed away about three years ago and that's his ashes and they will probably always stay there. And that's his favorite red hat, so. I wanna step back. And I'm sorry about the big TV, but you know, <sighs> gotta have that. <laughs> and so right here is just an old pie tin, flower frogs, some more bingo cards, some spools and some more copper. And these are some great books if you're looking for any ideas to do any kind of, let me kind of get closer decor with. Those are awesome. Cozy White Cottage. Liz Marie is one of my favorite ones. 
and of course an ode box down there and that holds all of our records and here's this little area and I love this and it holds some of my old Bibles at the bottom let me kind of go up slowly Just a little bit of my antiques. And this envelope right here is postmarked 19, find it. there we go, 1932. There again, the drop cloth curtains. Some old amber bottles. And up there also, I put those flashcards in a frame. The old chest with a little bit of ironstone. And then one more quick look from here. Like I said, I live in a small farmhouse and we love it. Wouldn't change it any other way. And if y'all have any questions on anything, please feel free to ask me on Instagram and I would be more than happy to tell you where I've gotten anything. And then here's one more look. Thank y'all so much for watching my home tour. And thank you, Holly, for the invite once again. And y'all have- Thank you all so much for watching the spring edition of the Farmhouse Home Tour series. I hope you guys got lots and lots of new ideas and inspiration for your home. Big thank you to all the ladies that have shared their beautiful homes. And a big thank you to Crates and Palette for sponsoring this video series. If you guys want to achieve a DIY farmhouse look in your home, I have linked down below their Crates and Palette brackets so you guys can get a beautiful shelf on a budget and an easy DIY. I'll see you guys later on Living in Country. Bye.